Do you know that feeling? You ate a lot, but you feel full, and then dessert comes and you start eating again. You eat another dessert, even though you were completely satisfied beforehand. It's interesting, right? And it's especially interesting when you're trying to lose weight or watch what you're eating. We don't know exactly why people eat what they eat and how they stop eating. That's what we study at Wageningen University and study within the Nudget Consortium. Now, one of the things that I'm interesting, interested in is what actually happens inside your belly. I try to view inside the body using an MRI scanner what's happening on the inside. So I can see what you're eating and also how much of it is inside your stomach at any time. And then I can see how full you feel or you tell me how full you feel and see if that's actually matching at all. Now, to illustrate what I mean when I say MRI images of the stomach, I made this small movie here. It's actually my stomach. And what you see here is a sort of elongated white part that's getting bigger and then it's getting smaller. That's my stomach filled with water. The water is going seeping into the small intestine. You can actually see it in the lower right corner filling up my intestine as it's being pushed out of the water. This is the process we call gastric emptying. And if we do follow this process over time, we can see how food is being processed by the stomach. We can relate this information to how your fullness is changing over time. And that gives us an indication of in what, to what extent fullness is actually related to gastric emptying. Now, one of the important things that we found out in this project is that the way you feel full and how satisfied you are and when you stop eating is actually not so much dependent on what you eat or the calories, but the qualities of the food. So foods that keep you chewing, foods that are a lot of effort to eat will actually keep you satisfied for longer. Now, what types of food should you be thinking of? For example, soups or vegetables or um, grated carrots, foods that actually require chewing and require a little bit of effort. And you oppose those to smoothies or shakes that are much easily, more easily consumed. We see that the former actually satisfies you longer. And that's the type of food you should be striving toward to eat because it will keep you full even though your belly isn't that full.